let us open our Bible to the book of Genesis chapter 31. Genesis 31. Let us open our Bible to Genesis 31. Genesis 31. Jacob flees, pursued by Laban. Jacob flees, pursued by Laban. Genesis 31, verses 1 to 21. Jacob departs secretly, verses 1 to 5. Both Laban and his sons are unhappy about Jacob's uh, growing herd, growing herds. Essentially, Laban's sons are accusing Jacob of stealing their inheritance. From their perspective, it is disappearing right before their own eyes. As a result, they become envious and bitter toward Jacob. Laban also treats, treats Jacob differently. Verse 3, the last recorded revelation that Jacob received from Yahweh was 20 years earlier while he was still in the land of the promise in Genesis 28 verses 10 to 22. Yahweh had promised to bring Jacob back to the land in Genesis 28 verse 15. Now at last, uh, Yahweh gives, gives uh, Jacob the divine direction to return to the promised land. Verses 14 to 16, Rachel and Leah agree with Jacob's assessment after all, their father, Laban, had stolen their inheritance, treated them like foreigners, sold them, and used up the money from their dowry. Verses 17 to 18. It was nearly 300 miles from Aran to the mountains of Gilead. Uh, in current Jordan. Jacob travels with uh, the knowledge that uh, Laban might be pursuing him uh, from behind in order to kill him, and Esau, his brother, might be waiting ahead, also wanting to kill him. Verses 19 to 21, Rachel steals her father's household idols while he is busy at work shearing uh, his sheep. These idols are small figurines, uh, probably two to three inches long, used in divination and uh, uh, to bring good luck by doing. But wh why does she? Why does she steal these things? Not no exact reason is given but it may have been simply for protection and good fortune, which would have revealed some attachment of Rachel to the religion of her father, and which also confirms us here that they have another religion. The affairs of these families are related very minutely while what are called the great events of states and kingdoms at that period are not mentioned. The Bible teaches people the common duties of life, how to serve Yahweh, how to enjoy the blessings He bestows, and to do good in the various situations and duties of life. Selfish People consider themselves robbed of all that goes past them, and covetousness will often swallow up natural affection. The fact that people of a value worldly, worldly wealth is that error which is the root of covetousness, envy, and all evil. The people of the world stand in each other's way, and everyone seems to be taking 
away from the rest. Hence, discontent, envy, and discord. But there are possessions that will uh, suffice for all. Happy are those who seek them uh, in the first place. In all our travels, we would have respect to the command and promise of Yahweh. If he is with us, we do not need to fear the perils that surround us are so many that nothing else can really encourage our hearts to remember favored season, to remember favored seasons and so favored seasons of communion with Yahweh is very refreshing when in difficulties. And we should often recollect our vows that we may not fail to fulfill them. Genesis 31 verses 22 to 35. Laban pursues Jacob. Yahweh can put a bridle in the mouth of wicked men to restrain their malice through to he to re, that he may retrain, re, restrain their malice even though he uh, does not change their hearts though uh, they have no love to God's people they will pretend they will pretend to it and try to make a merit of necessity Oh, that foolish Laban, to call his gods those things that could be stolen. Enemies may steal our goods, but not our God Yahweh, his son Yahshua and his Holy Spirit. Here Laban lays to Jacob's charge things that he uh, did not know. Those who commit their cause to Yahweh are not uh, forbidden to plead it themselves with uh, meekness and fear. When we read of Rachel's stealing her father's gods, what a sin of iniquity opens the family of now who left the idolatrous Chaldees, the, the Chaldeans, has this family itself become idolatrous? It is even so. The truth seems to be that they were like uh, some in after times who swore by Yahweh and by Malcham, Malcham Malesh, the god Malesh. In, as we see it in Zephaniah 1 verse 5. And like others in our times who wish to serve both Yahweh and Mammon, Mammon which is wealth as an object of worship, uh, which is the devil of covetousness. Great numbers will acknowledge the true God in woods by their, by their hearts and houses but the, the, the great numbers will acknowledge the true God, Yahweh, in words. But, but their hearts and their houses are the abodes of spiritual idolatry. When a man gives himself up to covetousness like Laban, the world is his God. And he has only to, to reside among gross idolaters in order to become one, or at least to 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 favor uh, to, to to be a favor of their of their abominations. Look at the family Jacob got married to. The family Yahweh commanded Abraham, his grandfather, to leave in order to become Abraham in the promised land. This is a family of idolaters in the inside who present themselves as Yahweh's worshippers in the outside. Who this, uh, this, this, questions, this questions the sincerity of the people of little faith 
like, uh, like uh, Isaac and Rebekah, who despised the Canaanite women because of their idolatry, left, yet, yet they sent their son Jacob to find a wife in their own family of idolaters disguised in Yahweh's worshippers. Genesis 31 verses 36 to 42. Jacob's complaint of Laban's conduct. Verses 35 to 55. After an un, uneventful an uneventful search in which Rachel sits on the idols to hide them, Jacob unleashes 20 years of pen up, pen up frustration. In rebuke to Laban, Jacob shows himself to be a man of faith. In verses 31 to 42, in the house of unbelieving idolaters, if Jacob were willingly consumed with heat uh, of the day and the frost of the night to become the son-in-law of Laban, what should we refuse to endure to become the sons of Yahweh? Jacob speaks of Yahweh as the God of his father. He taught himself unworthy to be regarded, but was beloved for his father's sake. He calls him the God of Abraham and the fear of Isaac. For Abraham was dead and gone uh, to that world where perfect love cast out fear. But Isaac was yet alive, sanctifying the Lord in his heart as his fear and his dread. Genesis 31 verses 43 to 55. Dear Covenant at Gilead. This part of the story concludes. Jacob takes a stone and sets it up as a pillar in verse 45. This may have been in the form of a heap of stones that functioned both as a table for the meal and as a memorial for the event. Standing stones sometimes marked supposed the dwelling places of, of the gods as uh, to be compared uh, with Genesis 28 verses 17 to 18 or as groves as we see it in Second Samuel 18 verse 17. In, the, in this case, it seals, it seals a treaty. Laban could neither justify himself nor condemn Jacob. Therefore, he desires to hear no more of that matter. He is not willing uh, to recognize himself as in fault, and he should, uh, as he should have done, but he proposes a covenant of friendship between them to which Jacob readily agrees. A heap of stone was raised to keep up the, mem the memory of the event, uh, writing being uh, then not known or little used. A sacrifice of peace offering was offered Peace with Yahweh puts true comfort into our peace with our friends. They did it, they did it together, partaking of the feast upon the sacrifice. In ancient times, covenants of friendship were ratified by the parties eating and drinking together. Yahweh is judge between contending parties, and he will judge righteously. Whoever do wrong, it is at their peril. They gave a new name to the place, Gilead, which means the heap of, wis the heap of witness. After this angry parry, they part friends. 
Yahweh is often better to us than our fears. He overrules the spirits of men in our favor beyond what we could have expected. For it is not in vain to trust in him. Know this, and the Lord Yahweh will bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us read his prayer points. Uh, one, once each one. I will learn the common duties of life. How to obey Yahweh, to enjoy the blessings he bestows, and to be good in the various situations and duties of life. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua and Messiah, we pray. Selfish people consider themselves robbed of all that goes past them. Covetousness even swallowed up naturals, natural affections. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua and Messiah, we pray. Overvaluing, overvaluing worldly wealth is the error which is the root of covetousness, envy, and all evil. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. If the mighty name of Yeshua Messiah, we pray. When people of the world stand in each other's way, everyone trying to take away from the rest, hence discontent, envy, and discord. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. If the mighty name of Yeshua Messiah, we pray. When I sing in the mire, in the mire, when I sing in the mire of the world, uh, Father Yahweh, take me to the land of Christ followers and be with me. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, that me say we pray. In all my journeys, I will have respect to the command and promise of Yahweh. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, that me say we pray. If Yahweh is with me, I do not need to fear, for Yahweh is better to us than our fears. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. If the mighty name of Yeshua the Messiah, we pray. The perils that surround me are so many that nothing else can really encourage my heart. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. If the mighty name of Yeshua the Messiah, we pray. When in difficulties, it is very refreshing for me to remember favored seasons of communion with Yahweh. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. Heed the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I will always remember my vows that I may not fail to fulfill them. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. Heed the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Father Yahweh, put a bridle in my mouth. Uh, Put a bridle, Father Yahweh, put a bridle in the mouth of wicked people to restrain their malice, so you do not change their hearts. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. Heed the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. So they have no love to God's people like me. Lord, make them pretend to it and try to make a merit of necessity. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. If the mighty name of Yeshua and Messiah, we pray. Foolish are idolaters who call their gods those things that can, that can be stolen. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua and Messiah, we pray. Enemies may steal my gods, but not my God Father. My God Yahweh, my God His Son Yahshua, or my God His Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua the Messiah, we pray. Woe to the idolatrous hypocrites who bow down and swear by Yahweh and who also swear by Satan. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua the Messiah, we pray. Woe to idolatrous hypocrites who wish to serve Yahweh but also mammon the idol of wealth, the devil of covetousness. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Great numbers acknowledge the true God, Yahweh, in woods, but their hearts and houses are the abodes of spiritual idolatry. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. 
Eat that mighty name of Yeshua and Messiah, we pray. When a man gives himself up to covetousness, like Laban, the world, the world is his God. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. Eat that mighty name of Yeshua and Messiah, we pray. He has only to reside among gross idolaters in order to become one or a favor of their eye of their abominations. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, for me, say so we pray. If Jacob were willingly consumed with heat in the day and frost by night to become the son-in-law of Laban, I will not refuse to endure to become the son of Yahweh. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, for me, say so we pray. I think myself unworthy to be regarded, but am beloved of Yahweh for my forefather Abraham's sake. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua the Messiah, we pray. I will offer sacrifices of peace, for peace with Yahweh puts true comfort into the peace, into my peace with, with my friends. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua the Messiah, we pray. Yahweh is judged between contending parties, and he will judge righteously. Whoever do wrong, it is at their peril. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua the Messiah, we pray. Yahweh overrules the spirits of men in our favor beyond what we could have expected, for it is not in vain to trust in him. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua the Messiah, we pray. Thank you, Father Yahweh, that you heard our prayers. Thank you, Lord, for your answers to our prayers. Lord, we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you all the praise. In the mighty name of Yeshua the Messiah, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah.